So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a self-watering plant uh, holder. And we can see we have two parts here. I'm going to take away, we have part one, which is the uh, base. And then we have part two, which is the insert that acts as the self-watering part. So the way that we're going to start off this, I'm going to open up a new document. And we're just going to create that size of that plant. So I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to replace the sketch, and I've decided to make this as a five inch uh, pot. I'm also going to extrude this by five inches as well. So, as we can take a look, we can uh, see it there. To give this pot a little bit of a shape, I'm going to go to my chamfer tool. I'm going to choose this bottom edge, and I'm going to do a 0.3 inch chamfer. You can see that here. And then I'm gonna come up to my shell tool, clicking on the center. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker and do my shell at 0.15 inches. So we can see this already starting to take a little bit of a shape. So now for that tube, I'm going to uh, place a sketch on this top rim here. I'm gonna grab my circle tool and I'm going to set up here. Uh, on that inside edge. And I'm going to make this uh, a 0.25 inch circle. And that is incorrect. And that's going to be a one inch circle, 0.25 inches away from the edge, is what I had mine set up at. So I'm going to escape this. I'm going to change this to a one inch diameter. I'm going to grab my dimension tool and I'm going to get an error on this uh, that I'm going to have to override. I'm going to go 0.25. And I'm going to take off that uh, constraint that I made there. So there we go. So I have a one inch circle, 0.25 inches off the edge. I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to do it as a symmetric extrusion and I'm going to make it eight inches. So if I take a look, this is obviously a little bit too large right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, lay a sketch down on this plane right here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to grab my rectangle and I'm going to dimension this to the base of here and I'm going to offset that 6.5 inches. Now the purpose of that tool here or that rectangle was to extrude it and I'm going to do this as a removal. I'm going to do it symmetric meaning both directions and I'm going to change it to two inches to make sure I get all of my material. So the next thing I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here. I'm going to choose that chamfer tool yet again. I'm going to select this edge and I'm just going to do a 0.2 inch chamfer there. I'm going to come to my shell tool. I'm going to select that top face and I'm going to shell it at 0.1 inches. I'm going to look at this from the top now. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to choose this inner circle here and I'm just going to trace this uh, existing feature. This will be a closed drawing then. And I can then extrude this here as a removal. And I believe it's about 0 0.1. Let's take a look if that caused right in my hole. Yep, 0 0.1 gives me that hole uh, for it to fit through there. So this will be the conclusion of the base. You could do some decorative things, chamfer some things. Uh, I might actually change that to a 0 0.015 to get rid of that little lip that was in there as well. There we go. That looks a little bit cleaner. So again, make it decorative, make it your own, but this is just the general shape of the base.